Hi everyone and welcome back to another video. In this short tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how you can create these flower vector graphics from scratch in PowerPoint and animate them. So let's jump into it. As usual, the first thing we'll do is go to blank presentation and choose layout blank. Now let's create the petal shapes. I'm just going to paste in the two colors I'm going to use and put them off the screen. And we're going to start with an oval shape. Now if we right click on the shape and choose edit points, you'll see these four anchor points appear. And to make this a good shape for the flower, I want to make this top point a corner point. So if we hover over it and right click, I could choose corner point. And now we've made this a corner point, we can grab these bezier handles here. And if we pull this down, and then if we pull this down, you can see that it's made a point. You can adjust it until you're happy with the look of it. And then we'll make this a bit thinner. Looking good. We will now add the outline. So we'll go to line, choose black, and I'm going to give this a four point outline. Now we're going to add the middle part, which is basically just a very slim, very small triangle. And I'm going to make this black with no outline. Then drag it into the middle, make it very slim. And I'll just align this to the middle. Great. Now let's add the inner shadow. So to do this, we'll right click, and choose format shape. We'll go to this option here for effects and select the drop down for shadow and choose inner shadow. Any of these will be fine. We'll just start with the preset and then adjust it to get it looking right. So the default is a small blurred shadow. But for these vectors, I don't think we want any blur, so we'll turn it off but we will want a big distance. So I'd say about 30 points might do. And then we'll put the transparency on 0% and we'll go to the color picker, go to more colors and just make a darker version of this for the shadow. And now we can just adjust the angle to suit. So let's start off with that. And as we make the rotated petals, we can change the angle to whatever looks good. So we'll now press Ctrl G to group this and align it to the middle. I'm now going to press Ctrl D. Hold down Shift while I rotate. And this will be the second one. Again, we can click on this and adjust the angle as necessary to whatever we think looks good. We'll press Ctrl D again, hold down Shift while we rotate. And then Ctrl D again for the last one and hold down Shift while we rotate. Now let's add the center part of the flower. For that, we'll just use a circle. The default size will be fine, but I'm just going to fill it with a gradient fill. And I'll just pick this gold color and white for this. And again, put the same thickness line on which was four, and make it black. Now let's align it to the middle. And I'm also going to group these petals and align them to the middle. Great. 
Now let's make the pink variations. And there's quite an easy way to do this. If we hold down Control and Shift and then drag this, it will make a duplicate. And then if we hold down Shift and rotate, it will rotate exactly the right amount that we want. And now I can just click on each one of these and make it a pink colour. We'll go and sort out the inner shadow in a minute. So now we can go for the inner shadow colour. Again, we can choose the pink, then go to more colours and just drag this down a bit to make it a bit darker for the shadow. Great. Let's quickly apply that to the others. Then we'll right click on this middle section and bring to the front and then drag in our pink petals to go over the top. Excellent, looking good. Now let's select everything, hold down shift and move it up a bit. Now draw a line down from here to the bottom and again make that black and four point width. We'll quickly add a background and then we can animate it. So if we right click, format background, I can just put a gradient fill on this and I'm going to choose the two colours here. This blue, and then for the second colour I'm going to choose the pink, just the same colours as we've used already. Nice. Now let's add the animation. So firstly we'll just add a wipe up for this, so we'll go to animations, choose wipe, Easily done. And then we'll add a zoom out for this. So we can click on it and select zoom. And I'll change this to with previous so it happens at the same time. And I want these four petals, the pink ones, to reveal one at a time but quite quickly because I think that looks best. So let's ungroup these. Control Shift G. And then we can add the animation to one of them and simply use the animation painter to copy it to the others, which saves quite a lot of time. So firstly, we want to add a fade so it will appear nicely and not be on the page when it starts animating. And then we want to click on it a second time and this time go to add animation and add this motion path. And you can see that's the default direction. We just want to pick this up and move it about here would do. I'll click on the animation pane and double click on the item that is the motion path. And make sure it's got a smooth end and press OK. I also want it to go the other way so I can choose reverse path direction from the effect options and that's looking good. Just want it to be quite a lot quicker so I'd say half a second for each of these. And rather than on click, we want this to start with previous. And we also want to click on the fade and choose after previous. So now the stalk will come up, the center will reveal and the leaf will appear. Now let's show you a quick way how you can add that effect to the others. So we'll make sure our petal is selected Go to Animation Painter and then paint it onto this one. And all we have to do is make sure that this little circle here is dragged into the position you want to start the animation in. Now we'll go back to the Animation Painter, making sure that one with an animation is selected and click on the third petal. Again, we want to click on this little green arrow and drag the red dot to where we'd like our animation to start. Finally, we'll add the animation to the fourth petal Click on the green arrow end and then drag the red dot to where we want the animation to start. So if we play that, it's looking good. We'll just quickly add it to the blue ones and then we're good to go. So we'll click on the blue petals, Control Shift G to ungroup them. Click on the pink petal, Animation Painter and then on the blue. And 
I'm just going to quickly apply it to all of these and drag their start positions into the right place. So that's all of the motion paths copied. Let's have a look. It's looking really good. We just need to adjust this to make it go right to the center. And then right click on it and choose center back. Great. And I want that to be a tiny bit faster. So in the animation pane, you can shift click to multiple select. And I'm just going to turn this duration down to quarter of a second and that would speed it up to make it twice as fast. That's great. So now you can see how you can take standard shapes in PowerPoint, easily change the anchor points to create your own custom graphics, use inner shadow to add an extra dimension to your vectors. And finally, add animation to bring it all to life. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you'd like to see more, hit subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>